The two biggest fears most people have are fear of failure and fear of public speaking. Most people would rather die than speak in public. Hey everyone, my name is Roland and I have a question for you. Have you ever been gripped with fear at the thought of standing in front of a room full of people? Trust me, you're far from alone. But today, we're not just scratching the surface. We're going to dive deep into those fears that haunt would-be public speakers. And guess what? I've got 10 life-saving tips that will turn you from a nervous wreck into a confident orator or speaker. So sit tight, because these are going to be game changers for you guys. One of the fears we have is fear of judgment. You know, we're scared because we'll be label, people will label us as boring, uninformed, or just plain weird. It's a common fear but it's also holding you back from showing the world your true self and who you are and sharing your message with people that need to hear it. So here's the tip for the first one. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Remember this, knowledge is power. Own your topic, practice your delivery, and prepare for potential questions. Here's what I want you to know. When you're the expert in the room, judgment becomes a background noise. Here's fear number two stumbling and forgetting our words. The mind goes blank and words seem to evaporate. It's happened to all of us and it can be terrifying and the audience can sense that fear. Here's the key. Uh, here's the tip that'll help you overcome that. Visualize your success. Before you step on the stage, close your eyes. Picture yourself commanding the room. See the audience's reactions and hear the voice projecting them, making it real in your mind. And it'll be that much easier for you. Fear number three that holds us back from sharing our message is technical difficulties. Tech is a double-edged sword. It can enhance your presentation, but it can also fail spectacularly. You know, so many times people have a presentation and if they just go by the tech and they don't, ha they don't have the knowledge inside them, once that goes south, they forget everything. Don't be glued to technology. And here's kind of the tip for you guys. Know your audience. Even if the slides don't work, your message still will resonate. Know what your audience cares about and speak directly to those points. Know what your audience wants and just give them what they need. Fear number four is lack of knowledge. When someone asks a question you can't answer, what if they know more than you do? You'll feel embarrassed. Here's a tip. Breathe deep. Controlled breathing calms the nervous system. Use this moment to collect your thoughts and center yourself. You don't have to jump at the answer. You can just take a second, pause, and, and, and give yourself time to find the answer. Here's fear number five, being the center of attention. The spotlight's on you and it's overwhelming. Your every move feels magnified. You always start to wonder, what are people going to think about us? What, does my hair look okay? Does my voice sound okay? Does my clothes look okay? Everything seems magnified and it causes us to be scared. But here's the tip I want to share with you guys for that. Accept imperfection. No one, no one expects you to be a robot. Let your humanity show. It makes you more re relatable and trustworthy and people will like who you are. Listen, don't try to be like somebody else. They're already taken. Just be yourself. Remember, the people came to see you guys. Here's fear number six. Audience boredom. The ultimate insult. Eyes glazing over, people checking their phones, and it's a speaker's nightmare. Here's a tip on how to overcome that one, because that one can be tough. Use humor. An appropriate joke or a, a funny observation can reignite interest and reset the room's energy. And, and here's a key for you guys. Don't be afraid to make fun of yourself. Don't be afraid to, to, to make a joke that includes you, because they'll see that you're real, and they'll resonate with you. They'll connect with you. You want to connect with the audience, and sometimes that's what humor will help you do, as long as, it's, as long as it's appropriate and nobody's going to be offended. Fear number seven, physical symptoms. Your hands are shaking. Your heart's racing. It feels like you're about to leap out of your skin. I know that feeling. I've been there before. Here's a tip to how to overcome that. Connect with the individuals. Don't be afraid to make eye contact. Write different people in the audience. In contact with different people in the audience. It will ground you and make you, your crowd seem more like a group of friends. You think about that. When you, you're just talking to one person, there's just a whole bunch of them. And when you make the eye contact, again, that builds the bridge between you and them. 
Here's fear number, fear number eight. And I think this one's a huge one for so many of us. Fear of failure. It's a big one. The combination of all the other fears. Uh, what if you just fail? Fail. What if, I'm, if I make a mistake? What if they see that I'm not perfect? What if I stumble? What if I, what if I say a word wrong? We're so worried about what other people are going to think about us and, and our failures that we're afraid to take the step. Don't be afraid of failure. Failure, it, it only counts if you quit. So I want you to really realize that don't be afraid to fail. It takes a lot to step out there. Here's the tip. Positive body language. Stand tall. Maintain eye contact and use purposeful gestures. Project confidence, even if you don't feel it, and soon you will. Show people that you're confident. Stand there because you know what you're talking about. And that'll make all the difference in the world. Here's fear number nine. Losing credibility. You worry that a single mistake could imperably damage your reputation. Again, that we're so worried about what other people are going to think about us that we fail to take our actions based on what people might say, not even what they will say. So here's a tip to help you overcome that. You can focus on the message. It's not about you. It's about what you're saying. If the message is strong, small errors don't matter. People are going to care about you. They're going to see that you're real. They're going to, and guess what? By you making the mistakes and continuing on, they're going to say, well, it's okay if he's on the stage and making mistakes. So when I try something and I make a mistake, it's okay too. So don't be afraid of making a mistake. It shows people that you're real. And fear number 10, saying something controversial in a hypersensitive world, a misplaced word can ignite a firestorm. You know, we're worried about saying the wrong things. Are we going to be offended? Are people not going to like what we said? Are they going to be turned off with us? But here's what you want to do. You want to practice out loud because the more familiar you are with your content, the less likely you'll stray into risky territory. Rehearse until it's second nature. Here's what I want to share with you. you. We've just unpacked a lot. But remember, the biggest obstacle between you and successful speaking success is not tackling these fears. So give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to face them head on and drop a comment to let me know which tips resonated with you the most. And don't forget to subscribe for no-nonsense advice. Until next time, speak boldly and fearlessly.